Hello everybody and welcome back to Inscription. We are back again and I have learned a few things since the last time I played. We're going to try and figure those out. But for one, I haven't had a look at this yet. And apparently I'm supposed to. I'm not exactly sure what I'm meant to do with it. But I was told to take a look at this. Um, maybe there's some indication as to how we make the clock go off. Uh... Maybe you've got to match it to the time currently, which it's like 10 p.m. for me right now, so I don't know what the third handle is, though, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> um, I do not know how to tell the time. Um, now, I'm not, I'm not actually sure what I'm meant to be doing with this. Oh, there you go. Okay. I got myself a ring. And then this thing as well that I've been just terrible at so far i think we've got to push this up to i think it's up to there um put that up to there there you go and that should do it there you go like i apparently i was just moving one of them wrong like i was moving this one down rather than up by accident and that was it <laughs> so i do apologize also i kind of know how this works a little better now essentially if we can match the cards to what we get given here then it unlocks the painting next time so we'll try and uh, maybe work that out but anyways let's jump in on a run uh, i do apologize by the way for a few things one I, I had some audio issues in the past few episodes i've hopefully sorted those out now i'll try and fix them in person nonetheless basically my microphone was at like 70 percent volume by accident so hopefully that's sorted um either way i'll edit it in post and make sure that's fixed and another thing like i did a big long session when i played and i was getting a little frustrated but i hope that didn't come across too much in the videos but anyways let's uh, have a new session and try our best also i now know how to use the clover a little more um wow we got we got a lot of good stuff here um i think i'll take this one interesting okay maybe we go for some upgrades on that guy maybe i'll just go for the one upgrade yeah let's let's just go for the one upgrade on this dude and we'll we'll take him away no i'm gonna go to oh ho, 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 ho. i'm just such a gambler i hate it but i love it right that should be pretty decent i don't know how the audio sounds now either it might be a little loud maybe i want to put the master down one and try that out um, I don't want it to be too overpowering, but obviously I want to make sure that the atmosphere is still there. We'll try and make our way over to this as well. But we got our first battle here, and it is, of course, a totem battle with move right. So that could be problematic. Salutations, my friend. Uh, we did get me. Um, just put us there for now. And then we'll put you there. And we'll take you over with that. And Stinkbug we can't use quite yet. But that should be a round one victory, right? Yep. <laughs> okay. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. And we'll keep pushing forward. So we should be able to get some pelts here. The most exquisite pelts. Ah, damn it. We don't have enough teeth right now. Okay, we'll take the one then. Much appreciated. It's good enough. And then I'm hoping we can get um, some extra stuff going on. I don't know, maybe I want to, like, spread my level ups a little bit here. I've, I've not really done that much. Um, but at the same time, we don't really have many things that need it. So let's just do this. We'll only go one on that. I, don't, I think one's fine. We'll take you We'll take you out. I just don't want to lose this guy because he's got the, um, the death return thing. We've actually got a, a pelt shop here as well, actually. So that should be quite nice. Me again. Hello. Um... Okay, so you can go... We'll get the stir, and we'll put the stir here for now. The bullfrog, unfortunately, can't be used here. The stir's not going to do too much, but it is going to at least attack the pronghorn here. Um, for now, let's just plant a squirrel down and put our bullfrog down, and then we can also put our stink bug here. And that should be enough to uh, tip the scales. We've got the elk farm there as well, unfortunately. This, this next turn should be it for us. We should be good to go. Um, we don't have any space right now. Okay, that's fine. We should we should win this turn anyways, right? Oh, not quite, not quite. That's okay though. Nothing's dead. There you go. This should win, is it? There you go. Okay, I'm definitely getting better at the early game, which is nice. 
You've only got the one pelt, unfortunately, but we can at least trade that for something. Um, I'm going to take the worker ant, I think, because that we can actually use that to fulfill the painting's prophecy, I think. Uh, and then we'll go this way. We don't want a pack route right now. We will have to get rid of a card here, but honestly, um, we can get rid of the bullfrog and be pretty happy. And we'll add that ability to the worker ant for now, I think. It's not the greatest ability in the world, but it does kind of help. And we got another fight here, of course. So, I think the prophecy um, wanted us to place... Well, first of all, let's um, just to take a look what he's got going on. Okay. So, yeah, let's, let's place me here. And we'll do squirrel there. Uh, we're not really going to be able to fulfill the prophecy in this round here, but I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, doesn't matter. We one-shot it. Okay. Uh, and we'll go this way. Try and get a totem here. Magpie. Interesting. Okay, we've got the adder. Not really used the adder before. Neither have I used the magpie, to be honest. When a card bearing the sigil is played, you may search your deck for any card and take it into your hand. That seems really useful. We'll grab that. Prospect is coming up, of course. And what was this? When a card bearing... Um... Or we can go with Ant Spawner. I don't really know what's best here, but I guess we go Dam Builder. We have that at least now. So now we can basically apply these to our squirrels, which is kind of interesting, I suppose. Okay, so we're against the Prospector here. I think we should be fine to kill him with our current build, but I am a little worried. Because we don't want to play our Turtle Melon card too early, essentially. Salutations. Okay, so I want to try and fulfill our prophecy here. So I'm going to place you down there. I'm going to... Ooh, I've done that wrong. Damn it, I've done it wrong. I can't film a prophecy now. I'm stupid. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, actually, I think I can. Okay, well, put that there. Squirrel, you can go there. That puts a dam down. Okay. Mm, was that a good play? The squirrel dam builder might actually be kind of bad for us here. Now, I, th I think this is fine. I think this is fine. We'll grab another card here. Uh, I think we do stink bug. And then, yeah, we go, actually, do we? Uh, no, let's let's hold off for now. Get rid of you, at least. The mole's kind of annoying, but not terrible. Take another card. Okay, we've got this in, in our hand, at least. That's good. This is slightly problematic here. Um, I think maybe we're just going to play some squirrels here and let these guys play this out. Get rid of that pack mule. Okay, good, good. we get rid of the mole. We get the pack mule gone. Which gives us some cards in our hand. My mule, curse you. I like that. Right, okay. Let's check what he gave us there. He gave us a field mouse, a cockroach, another squirrel. Okay. We're not in a great spot, to be honest. So, let's go... Grab a squirrel. Do a squirrel, squirrel, and then, how does the field mouse work? A copy of it is created in our hand. I don't think we really need a copy of that so much, so, so let's go like that. And then the cockroach can be placed here. Nice, okay, that actually worked out quite well. take another one of these into my hand. That should tip the scales. Yes. Okay, that's good. We've got a little bit of a problem that we've got a full suite here, which is going to mean uh, we have to wait a little bit here. Um... Okay, actually, that's that's fine. Oh, we got a cockroach back. I see, I see. Okay. Take another squirrel into our deck. So we just got to kind of wait this out at the minute. 
Good. So I think we plop... Uh, draw a card. Okay, let's just try that for now. I think we go... And we plop our squirrel down there first. And then our stir can go here. And then I can go here. And I think that's pretty good. I think I think this should this should win, is it? Um The mole's not great here, but I'll pull I'll put it down. There you go, we did it. That wasn't too bad at all. Thank you very much. Okay, we take our legendary as well, or rare, whatever you want to call it. Hmm, got some ones we haven't seen he here. What's the DOS? While this card is, um, when this card is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is defined as zero power and one health. That's not great, to be honest. Um, let's try out this guy. Decent stats. I'm gonna move on to the next area. We power through. It's a good run so far. I'm liking it. Um, let's go this way, shall we? The wetlands, indeed. Definitely want to reroll those. Kingfisher can be pretty good. Maybe we'll go with the Kingfisher and try and get it upgraded a little bit. Hopefully we can get some damage on the Kingfisher here. Yeah, there you go. Let's uh, let's just go super whole hog on the Kingfisher. If we lose it, we lose it. We're just going to go triples. One. Two. Ah, oh, we lost it. Unfortunate. But it's not a big loss because we, we didn't really care about the card all that much. Um... Don't know if we have any duplicates. I'll have to check on that. Heading to the mushroom could be pretty useful if we have duplicates. Okay, so what's this you've got on you? Burrower. Okay, burrower's kind of annoying. Let's put you there. Squirrel, you can go there and place a net one next to you. We'll just leave that like that for now. Oh, okay. It <laughs> doesn't matter. We won. Right. I didn't get to check if we have any duplicates in our deck, I'll be honest. But you do give me a duplicate, don't you? So why not? Workerant is a duplicate, but I think we should roll this. The Mantis is good. Ant Queen's decent. Let's take the Mantis for now. That's an upgrade card. Let's go here and see if we've got any duplicates. I don't know if we do. Okay, what do we want to duplicate? I guess Mantis, in case we can get a duplicate Mantis going on. Yeah, there, there's another duplicate there, so we'll, we'll head over that way then, I guess. Then we can do. Then we can uh, merge those Mantises. Okay. I think we just want to place our worker ant here. We've got our dams built up as well. That's pretty nice. Rattler's probably going to kill this. Yeah. Take this. Ah, okay. This counts as a squirrel as well, apparently. Um, Not in a great spot here. Do at least take out you, though. The Rattlers are coming in strong here. Mantis, nice. So, actually, we'll put the Mantis here, because that can get damage on both sides. Ooh, that was that was a pretty good play with that skink there. We, we really need to pull this. Is, this is what we needed. There you go. Well, let's just block some damage here while we do damage to him. Again, we, we do that one more time here. And then there you go. Nice. Get a nice bit of over damage. Right, so we go this way and we can we can duplicate. We can uh, merge those mantises. Sorry, not duplicate. Field mouse, another skink. I'm okay, thank you. None of these are great. I'll, I'll take the pronghorn. Pronghorn's decent at least. 
It's not really what I'm looking for. Hello. I like the way it makes you look away, <laughs> even though it's just cards. The atmosphere in this game is just so good. Okay, another fight coming up. Okay, this is good. So I think we do this here and put our mantis there. This is this is actually really good for us because we have good protection and the mantis to deal the damage. That might actually win, is it? Yeah, there you go. That that was great. Okay, unfortunately we don't have any pelts for this person, so this is just a skip pretty much. Nothing to offer you, sorry. You at least give me some coin, thank you. And in Fireplace, I want to use it on my, on my Mantis at least once. It is plus HP as well, so that'd be good. Sir. So. Yeah, let's just do that. Just do just do one time, and we'll take it back. Okay, we've got the angle now. I still am not great at working out how this guy works, but I think we can beat him with the, the cards that we've got. As long as we play our hand right here. It'd be nice if we just get a good hand. Yes, okay. So... I think we go like this. Actually, this is going to be great, I think. Then we do wolf. And then we play that. And then this should win us our first turn. Straight off the bat. Yeah. Okay, so this is where things get a little more problematic. This is where things get very problematic, actually. We can at least survive one attack by a Great White, but this is deathless, so don't worry about that. So that can go there. Build a dam. Where Crank can go there. I can go there. And that should win, is it right? There you go. Tips of scale. Having the deathless on, on the uh, the me card is, is very strong. <laughs> It's a very good card for a zero cost as well. It could carry us this. We 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 got to be careful about it, but it could. The Eternal Serpent death strengthens it forever. We'll try that out. That sounds very interesting. I've not had the Ouroboros before. I'm imagining what that means is it's deathless, and every time it dies, its stats get better. Something along those lines. Right, so we don't really want any more cards through this. We're on the snow line now. So I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to tank this one if I can. Damage will easily do. Beast. I don't think we'll do, okay, no, we definitely won't win burn. So that's fine. We'll go for that. There you go. Good. Yeah, I can fail that on purpose to get rid of, and then, then here we can get rid of another card here. Because we are getting a little over the top here. Um, I'm gonna get rid of my pronghorn. It's just it's too high of a blood cost for me to ever really get to be able to use. Another cave here coming up. Okay, so we did get a robber Ross, which is nice. Although it's unfortunately quite hard to play. Yeah, let's just do that for now. Okay, I keep forgetting that that wins it in one hit. If we if we draw that guy in the first round, we just win. Right, again, we want to fail this, so we're hoping for burns again. Eh, uh, go for this, because I don't know what this one is. I think mean, this is Sigils. Good. And here we can get rid of another card. 
I think the magpie, honestly, because we're not playing the magpie all that much, and it'd be nice to get rid of it. Um, yeah, let's attach it to Stinkbug. See how that goes. Stinkbug's kind of a fodder card anyway, so I think that kind of works. Okay. We did get Stinkbug off the bat. That's nice. So I think we want to go like that to get some dams out there. Dams actually aren't that good here, I've just realized. Okay, I might have buggered this up a little bit. It's not terrible, it just delays how quickly we can actually win. Because um, I kind of balls that up a little bit. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot it would make dams in both positions. Also, what is this moose buff here? This is... A bit scary. Go with that. I really should be trying to power up a Roboros right now, but I'm not. Okay, this thing got more damage. Um, we'll take that for now. I kind of need this dam to go, but that... Unfortunately, we've actually buggered this up pretty royally, because that dam will never disappear now. But this should put us in a good spot. Okay, that's good. That's good. There's a lot of elks on the board here. Okay. This opens some stuff up for us nicely. I think now we can go boom. Oh, the dam. Okay, the dam thing's actually fucking annoying. <laughs> it's not letting me do what I want at all. Well, that was a bloody difficult one, but we got there. Right. We have enough to grab a rare pelt. We'll just take that for now. Go to the totem purse to see if we get anything a little better than this shitty one that we got right now. So we can either go with Stinky. Oh, actually, that's yeah, that's pretty good. We'll go with that. Yeah. That mantis there. Mantis almost did it for us there. Fortunately, it's going to tip the scale for us. Okay, we got this as well. Unfortunately, it's not really going to help. Oh, that mold just buggered us up real bad. Okay, I might lose a life here. Basically, I have to pull my, my me card now. <laughs> Actually, I am pretty sure I'm losing a life no matter what in this situation. Um, yeah, I am, unfortunately. Not quite going to hold, is it? That was a shame. I don't think there's any way we can get our life back either. Right, to the shop. Don't really know if there's anything we want here. Uh, porcupine, maybe? I like the porcupine. Got a golden pelt. Ooh. Let's take the gek, I guess. I still don't know how the gek works, but it's got to be good. It's a rare. It's got to be good. It's 
No pass. I guess I'll take that. Ooh. This is the, the, the trapper boss. We haven't actually fought this thing in a while. I don't know how it works. This could be pretty bad for us. Luckily, I already have just one life, so... Okay. I don't remember how this guy works at all. I just remember him being kind of hard. Okay. This is good, though, because we got this going on. And then also we got this going on. Okay, that doesn't matter. We can play it again. Don't worry. That kills you. Hey, that's one life gone. I do not know what his second phase involves at all. Exquisite pelts, but then the cycle must continue. Whoa. Let's trade. Um, powerful cards. I will accept only the finest pelts for them. Great white. Grizzly there. The Rattler. I'm going to take the Rattler. Trade for what you can, but know this. The results will stay and fight for me. What? I have to take a Great White then. Wait, how many of these can I take? Okay, that was bad. <laughs> I feel like that was very bad. Yeah, that's, that's this is gonna hurt. Oh my lord, this is gonna hurt. Um. Wait a minute, I just need to check something. Pl this better work the way I hope it does. If that doesn't get returned to my hand, okay, it does, good. Okay, I did it. That is a hard fight. That's pretty cool, though. I really enjoyed that. Okay, another legendary. Really don't want any of these, but I guess I gotta take this. I'm guessing the little mushroom, by the way, just signifies that we can merge them because the, we have another one. Because I've been sh seeing those pop up every now and again, and that seems to be the case. Okay, now I don't know what this is. Um, I think I should do this. I guess add that to that. I'm guessing this is the, the like, big boss. Your eyes are fixed themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light, be um, a beacon in the oppressed darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marks the end of your travels. Oh, damn. <laughs> Whoa. This isn't what I was expecting at all. Oh, wait. Oh my god. I, I was like, I just realized this isn't a cutscene. Steps away from the strange cabin, you're presented with an opportunity. I don't offer many my boons to just any traveler. If you are able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. 
The trial of the finned three drawn cards must include the Waterborne Sigil. Okay, this is our, our best chance. Damn it. Oh wait, no, just one of them, okay. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game and you don't even need to draw them. The boon of the magpie's eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. The boon of the goat's blood. You will start a battle with a black goat on the board. And the boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. I feel like we have to do that one. We'll repeat that once more. The trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. I'm pretty sure I have the ring, right? The trial of the winged. And the trial of the skin. So I'm going to try that one because I'm pretty sure I have the, win the, the ring. You choose your boons. Ambidextrous. The forest. You'll start a battle with a grand first on all of your spaces. Okay, let's go with this one. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I'm going to get absolutely destroyed, aren't I? Whoa. Managed to get both of my boons. I rarely see this, but I am impressed. You have been aware of the adversary, but unfortunately, I must soon put you to death. Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> Whoa, he is not looking great. And I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? God. I hope you are adequately prepared. I'm not really, I'll be honest. I've got one go at this. You little... You little shit. <laughs> oh my lord. This is quite the battle, isn't it? So I'm imagining he's going to get the powers of previous people. Unfortunately, we have not drawn great on our first go here. Um, I think basically what we got to do here is go like this. And then put our stink bug out. Draw that. Put that out there. Please tell me this works the way I think it does. Yeah, that, that worked out really well. Okay. Stupid mole. They got a mantis god. Ugh. I guess now we want our Mantis to go here. That's a lot of damage. Right. Oh, you carefully endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appear before you. In their eyes glimmer a recognition of kinship, but coloured by guilt. They were betraying you. Oh, hello. I remember that one fondly. Interesting. I guess we want Gek. That's fine for now. Oh, no. No. <laughs> you dick. I knew that was going to happen. It's fine. It's fine. Um. Probably work around here. Right, so now we want to go... Squirrel. 
Oh wait, no, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. I've, I've, I've made a mistake here. Ah, balls. It's a pretty big mistake as well. <laughs> That's a pretty big mistake. Oh no. Right, 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 right. I made a pretty huge error there, so let's try and correct that. Okay, you can hook my squirrel. That's fine, you can have my squirrel. <laughs> pretty much okay with that. Oh my god. Running out of cards pretty heckin' quick here. Right, okay, so. Squirrel. Squirrel. Roboros. Go. Okay, right. Then we go. Squirrel. Wolf. Wolf down there, Roboros. Oh, wait, okay. I, I, I keep forgetting you've got a bloody double up to play the Roboros. That's fine. Um, Wait a minute. This should work, right? That goes there, and that goes there. Okay, good. I'm getting a little better at learning how to do that now. Right, that should tip the scales in our favor. That actually gets rid of another, another life. Now I'm really scared. <laughs> now I have no idea what's about to happen to me. Damned moon. It's dramatic, yes. But proves no value to my board, I wonder. Ooh, he took a picture of the moon. Whoa. Now that is value. That's pretty fucking cool. Okay. Right, so. Basically, we do this. Then we go boom, boom. And we play that down. And then we play me down. And then we go... Will this work? Wait. Let me think. Yeah, this will work, right. Do that. Play that down. And then play a squirrel down. Then we get to play a higher level of Roboros and me down. Back at full health. Okay. Moons without a sense of smell. <laughs> Boom. Oh, you really destroyed the moon. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. Enduring victory. That was a beautiful run. Oh, thank I you. Just, I think I just beat him. Oh. Whoa. The fuck just happened there? Cam works. What the heck? <laughs> I am confused. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay, and our first rare is a Birchkin. 
not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right. Next pack. Feeling even intriguing. better about this one. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Some jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll see. And our rare for this pack is Bandog. Not exactly riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Next pack, here we come. Just cut out this part. Hmm, this is very intriguing. <laughs> I'm gonna watch through hey all of there, these. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. You would not believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks, so fingers crossed. Really cool art on these. Definitely stands the test of time. And our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. Cool looking card but not going to be worth very much. All right, let's see what we got going on in the second pack. Huh, uh, this pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. They suck. Come on, people, honestly. I have a feeling something really oh, dark's gonna happen sealed. pretty soon. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. Okay, I have a feeling something's gonna go, go quite awry here. All right, you guys. I'm out here living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp and shovel. Always come prepared, kids. All right. Whew. Here we go. Yeah. He's gonna find a body or something, isn't he? Okay. Whew. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be a massive waste of. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. All right. That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Every time. You gotta come prepared. They proper, like, nailed the, like, YouTuber style Dude. with this guy. Everything he's saying I have seen, I have seen a hundred times before. <laughs> Just the way that he's speaking and acting, it's... They nailed it. Alright. This is it. And now, we dig. Well, how you dig, dude?
I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But, only one way to find out. Oh god. This is not gonna go the way this guy wants it to go. Is that? Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. The hell is it? Oh, it's the next game. What? What the fuck? Is this the Guys, is this the next act? Are you seeing this? Or is this the first act that we just played? I'm uh I'm a little confused. He is running. <laughs> he is running. This reminds me a lot of um of Petscop. Wow, great video. <laughs> okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. Aha! Uh -huh. I see, and now this is why the entire game's looked like it's been recorded through a camera. Because it literally has. That's so interesting. I was not expecting this. Do not celebrate often. I seldom give gifts. But you, challenger, are worthy. Please do not be polite. Dig in. Is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. Very well. Come with me. Stand right there. I am standing right here. Ooh. I will need that. You challenge are a champion. I wish to congratulate your victory. Please inscribe your name. Do not despair. You are a winner. Picture is taken once more. And now the cycle continues. I don't know if this is Act 2. I know that Act 2 is like a different game. Or like a very different style to the game. I know that for, for, for a fact. And once again, you tell us about the knife. Still don't really know what that means. How is this game not over yet? The last challenger managed to defeat me. A rare event. Go and ask how they did. You'll find them hanging from the door over there. Wait, what? Okay. I'm guessing I have to do something with the knife and win, which seems a little okay i guess okay anyways we'll end this episode off here i hope you guys have enjoyed this has been kind of kind of crazy but a good run nonetheless and yeah i will see you guys in the next one